Okay, so in this video, I'm going to discuss about the Firefly optimization algorithm. So basically, the Firefly optimization algorithm is a nature-based or we can say nature-inspired meta-holistic optimization algorithm, which was introduced by Dr. Sin Shi Yang in 2008 so the algorithm is based on the fascinating flashing behavior of the fireflies which they use to attract mates and communicate with other fireflies the firefly optimization algorithm has been successfully applied to various optimization problems including engineering design Function optimization, and most interesting domain that is machine learning. Now, let's talk about the biological inspiration behind this algorithm. So, fireflies are also known as lightning bugs. So, these insects belong to the lampreyate family. So, firefly belongs to lampreyate family. So these fireflies can emit light through a process called bioluminescence. Uh, this bioluminescence process occurs in their abdomen. So the primary purpose of the flashing behavior is to attract mates, where each species has a unique flashing pattern. Fireflies can adjust the frequency and the intensity of their flashes based on the distance and attractiveness of the other fireflies. The ability to adapt their behavior is based on external stimuli serves as the core inspiration for the firefly optimization algorithm. Now, let's talk about the algorithm mechanism. So, the Firefly optimization algorithm is an iterative process. So, so Firefly optimization algorithm is an iterative process that involves a population of fireflies searching for the optimal solution. The fireflies represent potential solutions to the optimization problem.
So the algorithm is based on three primary mechanisms. So the algorithm is based on three primary mechanisms. First mechanism is moment. Second mechanism involved is brightness. And third primary mechanism is attractiveness. So, um, in this slide, I'm just going to uh, explain the basics of uh, this three mechanism. And the next slide, I'm going to <coughs> um, tell you about the mathematical formulations belongs to this three primary mechanisms. So now in first mechanism, that is during movement, the fireflies move towards other fireflies that are more attractive or we can say brighter based on their objective function values. Now coming to the second primary mechanism, that is brightness. The brightness of a firefly is determined by the quality of the solution it represents. The better the solution, the brighter the firefly. Now, coming to the third primary mechanism, that is attractiveness. The attractiveness of a firefly is a function of its brightness and the distance between fireflies. Attractive attractiveness decreases as the distance increases and vice versa. So we can say attractiveness is inversely proportional to the distance between the fireflies. Now, let's talk about the um, mathematical formulations um, involving <clears throat> these three primary mechanisms. Okay, so let's first, okay. I think I can change the color, okay. Okay, okay, no problem. <clears throat> okay, so let's first talk about the attractiveness mechanism. So we already know that the attractiveness of a firefly is a function of its brightness and the distance between fireflies. Now suppose you have two fireflies, firefly A, sorry I, and firefly J. So the attractiveness of the firefly J as seen by the firefly i is given by this expression which is a i j is equal to a naught multiplied by the exponential of minus y multiplied by R I J square. So here A I J is the attractiveness of the firefly J as seen by firefly I. Firefly J as seen by Firefly I. Now let's talk about A naught. 
ए नोट ए नोट इज द इनिशियल एट्रैक्टिवनेस एट ए जीरो डिस्टेंस इज द इनिशियल एट्रैक्टिवनेस एट ए जीरो डिस्टेंस and uh, here this y y is the light absorption coefficient y is the light absorption coefficient and this term let us r i j is the Euclidean distance Euclidean distance between fireflies I and J Now <coughs> now this total term that is this total term represents this total term represents in this exponential term basically represents the exponential decay of attractiveness now let's discuss about the second uh, primary mechanism that is the brightness um the brightness of a firefly is determined by the objective function value of the solution which it represents so the f- um the brightness of the firefly is given by this equation that is b of i is equal to function of xi here uh, b of i is the brightness of firefly i and the function of x i like this term function of x i is the objective function value is the objective function value of the solution represented by firefly i and this inside term that is xi xi represents the position of the firefly i position of firefly i in the search space in the search space for uh, minimization problem brighter fireflies have lower objective function values while for maximization problem brighter fireflies have higher objective function values so you should keep in mind this thing now coming to the third mechanism that is the moment mechanism um the fireflies move towards other fireflies that are more attractive or we can say brighter based on their objective function values so the moment of the firefly i towards 
fly uh, firefly j is given by um this equation uh, we can write uh, okay uh, so phi t plus 1 is equal to x of phi t plus a of phi j multiplied by x of j t minus x of this is i t plus alpha into epsilon so <clears throat> this uh, okay we have lot of we have lot to discuss here um so x i t and sorry x j t and x of i t are the positions of the fireflies i and j at iteration t um let me write i think uh, yeah less space is there so let me write it here only mm. so here x of i t and x of j of t are the positions of are the positions of fireflies i and j at iteration t at iteration t and we already know that this aij is the attractiveness attractiveness of firefly j as seen by firefly i now basically this difference between these two terms represents the direction of moment direction of moment and um, this term alpha alpha is a randomization parameter randomization parameter and um, the epsilon value is the um i think i we can say uh, it's a random number um yeah it's a random number it's a random number drawn from drawn from a uniform distribution from a uniform distribution in the range in the range minus 1 to 1 so this equations are the core components of the firefly optimization algorithm and by attracting through the moment equation while updating the attractiveness and brightness values the algorithm allows the fireflies to explore the search space and converge to the optimal solution now let's come to the last part that is what are the advantages of the firefly optimization algorithm so the first one is the simply its simplicity so firefly optimization algorithm is relatively simple to understand and implement compared to the other meta heuristic optimization algorithms now moving to the second advantage is that is its adaptability this algorithm can be easily adapted and customized to suit various optimization problems now coming to the global search 
Firefly optimization algorithm has a strong global search capability, which helps in finding the global optima in complex search spaces. Now coming to the robustness. So this algorithm is relatively robust to noise and local optima due to its population-based nature and exploration exploitation balance. So I think we can conclude <clears throat> the topic. So thank you.